These are the Model Wands Gel Art Liners. They come with six colors. I'm going to show you each of the colors individually, create a look, test them out, test out the thinness, see how easy it really is to create nail art with these. So let's begin. Yeah. Hey, it's Cassie but today I'm going to be doing some press on nails using the Model Ones gel liners that you saw in the beginning of the video. I just got them and I wanted to test them out but I currently have acrylics. If you want to see how to do this Halloween look, which either way by the time you're watching this is probably past Halloween. But I'll still link it below or I card above. But yeah, I have acrylics so I can't really use the polishes on myself so I thought press on nails. I also sell press on nails on Etsy. I'll have that link below. I would really appreciate if you just glance at them. <laughs> With that said, if you are interested in the Model Ones gel polishes, the gel liners, then I'll have those things below as well. And with that said, let's get on with the look. Here I have these nails um, polished different colors as you can see because I just want to just draw on random things, create different designs on different nail color bases just um, to give you kind of a variety of what you can do. I just want to showcase what the polishes are able to do. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want you guys to be able to see me use the products so you can see how they perform. I think I'm actually going to start off with the black one here and with the white nail art liner. And I think I'll probably create like stars. Here I have my polish bottle and I want little to no product on the brush itself. You see how thin that is? You can't even see that that little product on the brush. And now we draw. And maybe I could do like a couple dots. Which you could also do with like a dotting tool, obviously. Here I'm creating kind of just messy ones. I'm going to go in with a glitter one, add it on top of the white. That's design one. Something else. Should we do like stripes or something? And then I'm also going to use white. Kind of something like that. This is not look good, but you know, we're just testing out the polishes. Here I have a different color, which is very similar to this one. And maybe we could do like some hearts. Little hearts, very out of place. The very obvious one is to do like I'm grabbing the glitter. I have no idea what that is, guys. I'm just going with the flow. What can we do? And this is what I came up with. I know, what a disaster. But you guys got to see me use the polishes themselves and like the consistency of them and that was my point of this. Obviously we created a better <laughs> nail set as you can see. So if you want to see how I did this, now for like the actual better design, then let's start with this now. I'm getting this putty out by the way because I, ran I need... Oh yeah. I need something for the nails to stick to. So I'm gonna start off by just putting this putty on the stands so the nails could stay on here. And then I'm gonna choose the nail size. Normally what I would next do is prep them, but because, you know, they're just like the model, I'm not going to, just to save some time and I'm going to go straight into polish. But again, normally when I do sell them or when I do do them, 
the right way, the proper way, I do of course prep the nail. I'm going to be using this Model Ones color for my base color besides using these Model Ones polishes. I am going to start off with the base color. Alright, that was the nail design. Let me know what you think. If you are interested in the polishes, I'll have them linked below. They're perfect for nail art, so if you like to do a lot of designs, I highly recommend. I'm pretty sure they also have different colors. This is just, you know, a set of like their neutral colors. And if you made it up to here, then thank you so much for watching. You are the best, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!